Hi guys. So we have a couple more minutes before we start. It's kind of dark in here. I'm gonna turn on some lights. I know. <laughs> can you turn on? Can you plug the tree in for me? Be careful, creepy. Is it not plugged in? Is that? Hey, girl. Hey, Lindsay. We have some people getting on here. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but my name's Nikita. So I was, I did live last week with my parents and my baby boy. We, there's no singing happening tonight, so you don't have to worry about that tonight. No singing from us. Hey, can you guys tell me all where you guys are from? Hey, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. No! Hey! knew it. Called it. What? I called it. Called what? That you're going to drop something. Hey, from Texas. From Pennsylvania. I would like to go to Pennsylvania one day. I actually want to move to Texas, believe it or not. Austin area. I would love to move there, but my husband says no right now, so maybe soon. Yeah, I want to um, move towards like Austin area. Yeah. So, what are you eating? Why are you trying to eat on camera? I'm not. <laughs> the little boy is like trying to like Eat on camera. Super. The Bronx. Look at that. All right. So we have some people coming in. Georgia. I have family in Georgia. And Mobile, Alabama as well. Hey, Susan. Hey, Amber. Oh, Amber. Um, so my dad was like... Um, you were supposed to mention that I, um, that Amber was my nurse and I was in the hospital. <laughs> um, and so, but I forgot, so, oopsies. So, while we wait for some more people to join, um, I'm going to actually show you my tree. So, I need some advice here. Tonight, it's just going to be me talking about stuff. Um, giving out money tonight. Whoop, whoop. Who doesn't like money? Um, and also um, giving you guys the option to ask questions or anything like that. Um, so, but I do have a question. I tried this new thing with my tree. Let's see if you guys think it's a good idea with the ribbon. I didn't, I just added the, the ribbon like right and here. Um, and these candies came, by the way, are Oreo candy canes. Whoever decided that was a good idea was not a good idea. My brother. Um, my, bro my, my son tried it, and he said it was gross. But at least it's black and white, and it matches the tree, so I was able to use it. Look, <laughs> if you look closely, it's brown. So, um, so this is my um, youngest one right here. This is Grant. He's the one. He's the performer. He's the one who sang his little heart out last week. Um, so I just want to start by saying that um, thank you guys for following FAM and supporting us. Um, we really appreciate you all um, for sharing um, all the posts and bringing awareness um, for, you know, for these children who, who need it. You know, these kids need um, the awareness put out for them because they're a lot of times forgotten and that's not fair to them. So um, I'll take my glasses off. <laughs> um, but I just want to thank you guys for doing that. Keep sharing it, liking the page, um, leaving reviews, inviting people to like the page. We also have our dad's group, which is taking off, which is awesome. I don't know if you guys saw it, but Brett Favre was on there today. 
sending a message and that was amazing like i thought that was so great that was so good so of him and so nice okay. i got a little emotional there i'm not an emotional person but since i got this hysterectomy these hormones of mine was just out of whack um so i'm gonna start off i'm gonna give announce the first winner um so the first winner is karen hartwell um congratulations karen um, Karen, um, Karen's son, Sean, was diagnosed with optic pathway glioma. Um, so that's his battle. That's the monster he's fighting. So I want to say congratulations to you, Karen. Um, make sure you message us. You give us your PayPal information so that way we can give you that money as soon as possible. We want to put that money in your hot little hands, okay? So uh, make sure you do that. Um, so in between, I am going to see if I can get my lip, my oldest son pulled away. He's 10. Um, and he's totally one, he's a boy's boy. He's like totally into video games, football, all that stuff. So he is locked in his room talking to his little girlfriend, probably, I'm sure. So this is my son, Braylon. He did come out for me. Made me. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi. Tell them what your name is. My name is Braylon. And how old you are? <laughs> Ten. And what's your favorite things to do? Play football. What position do you play? Quarterback. And, and uh, outside linebacker. And who's your favorite football player? Um, Lamar Jackson as quarterback and. Cooper Kip as wide receiver. Really? Yes. And what's your favorite team? Uh, Rams. Rams. The Rams. Even though Lamar Jackson's not on the Rams. It's okay. You're allowed, that's allowed to happen. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so, this is my oldest. He's almost as tall as me. I mean, I am only like five foot even, so that and doesn't I'm take much. And I'm almost taller than him. Oh my gosh. Of course, he has to take the spotlight. <laughs> All right. So, anybody, I just want to say um, again, whoever's joining on, make yeah. sure that you guys like the page. Um, you leave review. You tell your husbands about the dads group. Let's have them join the dads group. These dads um, are often. You know, in the shadows, and you know they they do what they can do, and let's give them let's give them an outlet as well. That you guys, that your moms, you moms have. So, let's give these men an outlet so they can talk and relate to other men. Um, also, I also want to uh, remind the people whoever wins, please make sure that you guys message the page with your PayPal information so we can get that money to you right away. Um, so. I am going to ask a question. I want to know what is your favorite, favorite Christmas desserts? Um, I don't think I've been exposed to a lot of Christmas desserts, so I kind of want to get to know you guys and find out what you guys are baking and cooking and uh, maybe get some ideas for myself. Um, so what is a great Christmas dessert that's a, a crowd pleaser? You're right, Kristen. You're the the hubbies are there. Butterfinger cake, Lindsay. Huh. I love butterfingers. Sweet potato pie, Natasha. Mm-hmm. Yum yum yum. Pumpkin roll. I like. I do like pumpkin roll. I'm not much of a pumpkin person, but pumpkin rolls are pretty good as long as they're made good. Tiramisu. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Oreo fudge? Okay, so I make a peanut butter fudge, but I've never heard of Oreo fudge, and I may have to make that because my husband and kids eat Oreos like um, cereal. They literally put Oreos in a bowl and fill it with milk and scoop it out and eat it. Like it's super, I don't like milk, so ugh. Strawberry banana cheesecake salad. Oh, a salad. Sounds healthy with the salad. <laughs> cheesecake is good. Chocolate cream pie. I am a chocoholic, so I love anything. What is that? Wanellos? 
Buenelos. Did I pronounce that right? And Emily just reminded me, you can find the link to the dad's group on the fam page. So go ahead and make sure um, you tell your husbands to go look on that page so they can join it. Um, hey, get him. sugar cookies. Sugar cookies is like a staple. It, it really is. Okay, so enough of that. So you guys are getting me all hungry over here. So um, I'm going to announce the next winner. Um, the next winner is going to be Natasha Gums. Um, Natasha, um, daughter Antoinette was, was diagnosed with DIPG. So congratulations, Natasha. Yay, Natasha. Um, I know you live in Vegas, which is, I'm literally only an hour and a half away from there. So, um, maybe we can link up and, you know, talk and see each other. So Natasha Gums, good congratulations. Um, message us right away with your PayPal information and we will send you that money. We'll get that money so you can use it for whatever you need. These holidays, these holiday seasons are, you know, sometimes are so, they're some of the stressful times and they shouldn't be. It should be the happiest times, but they are stressful, you know. Lives go on, you know, people have bills, people have, um, you know, there's presents and then you're buying food for everybody and you know it's just this the seasons the holiday seasons are can be very stressful and I know it can be not a very happy time for some but um if we can bring some kind of a joy some kind of joy to you guys this is what we want to do so okay so that was our second winner so again if thank you Natasha yep we will we look forward to hearing from you and getting that information congratulations Oh, you're so welcome, Natasha. You're so nice. All right, so yes. I am going to share a very um, meaningful um, tradition that my parents <laughs> did when we were little for Christmas. Um, and then I want to hear what you guys' traditions are. Um, my parents would wake us up at the butt crack of dawn, like as soon as Santa left, as soon as Santa delivered the gifts, um, my parents would wake us up. It'd be 12, mid, it'd be midnight, two o'clock in the morning, whatever it may be. My parents would wake us up because they could not wait to see our faces. Um, we did not have a lot of money growing up. There was five of us kids, five of us kids. And the age gaps between the oldest and the youngest is like 16 years, if I'm correct. So, like, we were all spread out. So, I mean, we didn't have a lot of money for Christmas gifts. Like, get an outfit. We may got a couple games to share. Like, that's what our Christmases was. But the best thing was my parents waking us up super early in the morning so we can open our gifts, um, what, whatever we had, and that we would be up all night. All night. Play all morning, I guess you can say, playing with our toys or playing games or looking at our clothes or listening to CDs because CDs was coming out. And like that was like one of my best memories as a child growing up. So um, just whatever I know, like I was saying earlier, it's hard and stressful for money, but just the traditions is what, you know, make you think about the things. Um, can you put Jacks down, please? Thank you. Um, so, so what other traditions did you guys have as growing up? Any traditions? Yeah, you know what? You're right, Andrea. Just the family being all together was, and Angie, like that's like the biggest thing. And I, I love that to this day. I absolutely love that. Oh, the lights. That is so sweet. Hot cocoa in the car. Looking at lights. Oh, yeah. That's that's super. That's super cool, Audrey. Christmas Eve jammies in a movie. You know, we get so busy 
with the holidays like my whole life is busy so we are busy all the time so i think christmas is like the first day where like both all of us can kind of like relax sounds crazy but oh the nutcracker i have never seen that and i would love to see that i would love to see that live would absolutely love it That is great, Sophia, putting the tree up. Okay, so I do have one more recipient tonight. So the last recipient tonight of the $1,000 is going to be Jennifer Valencia. Jennifer Valencia, son Juan, has ALCL, um, stage four, um, which is anaplastic large B-cell lymphoma. Um, my heart breaks for all you guys. It really does to know that you guys have to, your, your lives, this is your life. You know, you're dealing with this for um, the holidays and, you know, some of you guys will be spending the holidays in the hospitals and um, not necessarily where you guys want to, but um, that's why I volunteer. I volunteer for you guys. Um, I want to give a big shout out to, um, to Milk and Amber. Um, you guys welcomed me and let me do this. I This is bigger than me. Like, let me be a part of something that's bigger than me. Like, you guys have let us, let me at least in and see the fight and the world um, being an outsider looking in and you know, me being right there with all of you guys, reading your stories and looking at your Facebook pages. And it's just, it's heartbreaking. And I, I, I give it to, you know, I give it to everybody. And I thank you guys for allowing me to, to join in and help in any kind of way I can. So again, I want to say thank you guys for supporting fam. Make sure that you're liking the page. <laughs> um, leaving reviews you are um telling your husbands to join the dad's group because that is so amazing these men need outlet too they are the rock sometimes but the rock also needs support so make sure you guys are sharing that information with your husband so they can join in um and get their support system that the mom's group has um again thank you guys so much for listening to me and letting me talk and getting to know you guys some more and giving me some information, some good recipes. I see like, I'm going to, you guys are going to have to message me some of these, like, and the new tradition, the traditions that, you know, you know, Christmas Eve jammies. That's pretty cool actually. And maybe do jammies with the lights and hot cocoa and on Christmas Eve, like I'll like incorporate all of it into one. So, all right. So I hope you guys have a great night. Um, I don't think I'll be back on before Christmas. Um, so I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, make sure you, again, thank you guys for doing everything you guys can do. So I hope you guys have a great night. And I will see you all on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Love you guys. Bye.